Hi everyone, so today I received my box from my crafty bestie, Laura V. Crafty, and I had told her that I wanted to do a new hashtag, and it was hashtag bestie craft box, and basically what it is, is we sent each other a box full of items, and we had to create a project using what we received. So basically you want to send a main item, and then, you know, like some paper, some embellishments, some ephemera, some stickers, some ribbon. You can send anything you want that you want them to use. And the thing is that they have to try to use everything that you sent to them. So make sure it all looks kind of coordinated and nice. And then create a project and then share it. So if you want to try this with your crafty bestie, you know, go ahead and feel free and just use hashtag crafty or bestie craft box. And then, you know, let us know. We would love to see what you guys made. Tag us. You know, we love to see what other people come up with. So I sent her a package and this is what she has sent to me. So since she got hers a couple of days ago, hers is done and is uploading right now. So I'm really excited to see what she put together. Now, she did tell me that she sent me an extra little gnome that she had found for me. Look at how stinking cute he is from the Dollar Tree. Look at his little beard. So, so cute. So he came from the Dollar Tree. She told me that he was just a little extra. And let's see. Oh, she sent me two of them in here. How cute. I didn't know she was sending me two. Look, their hats look a little bit different. Oh, I knew I was getting one. How exciting. Okay, let's see. So this month we chose to do a Halloween theme. So I got this tissue paper right here. So I'm guessing that this is what I need to alter. Oh my gosh, how funny. I didn't even buy these. I saw these at Dollar Tree and I never even bought one. So that is so funny that she sent me something that I didn't even bother to buy. I know it came in Eek and Boo and I think maybe Spooky. So I'm going to guess that this is my main piece to alter is what I'm going to guess. So let's take out the next little bit out. That's going to be so fun. Like I said, I did not actually buy one of these. So that's going to be fun. And let's see. Okay, we have some paper here. This is really cute. It's six by six paper. I normally buy 12 by 12 because I'm like, oh, you get more. But then the patterns are so much larger. I think from now on, I'm only going to buy six by six because I love the smaller patterns. So we have a little bat or we have this little like witch side. We have some eeks, some boos. Oh, I love this side. And we have some stars, or we have our ghosties. And then over here, we have some hollow paper. So there's like four pieces. There's an E, E, K, and then the exclamation point. So I'm thinking maybe we cut each one out of one of these papers. Oh, I kind of like the bats. Maybe we'll go for like a black and white theme like this. And then right here, our little exclamation point could be in the hollow maybe. Okay, let's see what else she sent to go ahead and change up. And okay, so she sent me a witch's room. I did use one of these already to make a wand. And I actually have it right here so I can show you guys. So this is a witch's room that I had bought and I turned it into my little witch's wand so she sent me a broom here I'm trying to see maybe i'm thinking maybe we keep the eek showing and then use this part to go ahead and glue the broom down and then we go ahead and alter the broom so that might be a possibility of changing it up that way and using that Let's see. And then we have one more item in here. Oh, pretty. I didn't see this coffin box. Oh, and I like how it has little handles. And there's a little spider web down here. Really cute. And I can hear there's something in there. And I think that's it. Let me just double check. I think that's the last item in here. I think the rest of this is all tissue paper. Okay, I don't think I missed anything. 
So let's go ahead and open this up and see what is in here. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I got my little coffin box open and I kind of messed it up right here taking off the tape. So I could just glue that back down. I love this box. I never saw this box that said Happy Halloween with the little spider. And I love the handles to it. So let's open this up. Okay, so we have more little bits. So am I supposed to use this all together? So do I take like the eek and maybe glue it? on to the coffin so it's kind of like a base and then glue the broom over here maybe or does this count as two pieces hmm maybe we glue it on here but then i lose the happy halloween and the spider if i glue it on okay i'm gonna have to think about this and what i want to do so let's open the coffin back up and see what we have in here so we have a few of the styrofoam bones from Dollar Tree. We have some ribbon. Oh, I don't think I have an orange Rick Rack ribbon. And this one with the pumpkin is really cute. So we have that one. We have another bone. And we have a little ring, which I love spiders. Oh, she made these. She did a video on these where she was drilling them to make them into charms. So she makes these resin pieces. Look at how pretty those are. So we have a little spider. And okay. We have a little bat over here super cute i love the sparkle and shine that she has in there really really cute and it's already like glossy so that's nice and it's nice and thick okay we have a sequence mix oh i love those little like white pieces in there oh look at those little stars that's cute I need to buy some striped um, sequins because it reminds me of Jack Skellington. So I need to get some of that. There's like little clay bits in here also like this yellow and this pink are like little clay bits. Okay, so we have a, a sequence mix. And then we have some diamond dots. And oh my gosh, look at the inside of this coffin. How cute. Look at him. He's so cool. I love this box. It's like already nice in itself. Like it doesn't need anything extra. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so there's the inside. Then here is another spider that she made. And then we have a couple of these little resin jemmy spiders and these probably came from ali express i know i ordered some and i'm still waiting for mine to arrive and she is like the queen of ali like anytime i'm looking for something i'll tell her what i'm looking for and like this like in two minutes she finds what i'm looking for so she is my go-to to find what i cannot find so here's everything that i got so I'm going to have to think about this and think, do I want to use the coffin as a base and glue the eek on top or do I keep them as two separate pieces? Because I'm, I don't know. I don't know which one was her main piece or is it, see, but the thing is you have to use all of it. Oh, this is kind of a challenge for me. I'm going to have to figure it out. You guys, let me know. What do you think? Should I glue the eek on here and use this as a base or keep them as two individual pieces? Because I really, really like this coffin. I really like that it says Happy Halloween. And I really like the little ghosty inside. And if I glue the eek on top of here, I'm going to lose the Happy Halloween part. Yeah, I'm going to lose that part. Even if I put it this way, I don't think it'll be stable enough to hang this way. Okay, so this is what we have to work with. I need to think about what I'm going 
to create with this. If you guys have any suggestions, I'm open to it. That might be cheating, but we didn't put that in the rules if we could ask our celebrities or not for ideas. So I'm going to cheat. <laughs> and yeah, you guys give me any suggestions you guys have on what I should do with this as I think about it as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Help me cheat. <laughs> and we'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.